a lot of banks are closing. I'm going to show you, share this to you. Um, people say get your money out now, but the thing about it, is you get your money out. What the fuck? What the fuck are you gonna do with the money? And it's no good anymore. That's why that whole that whole uh, BRICS thing, Britain, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. That's why they created that currency because they're trying to get away from the old currency, thinking that they that they can save themselves. Nothing. They they have no salvation. All right. Um, lo locations uh, close in the fall, and these are all in Ohio. Okay. These are all the Huntington locations that these are the bank locations that's closing in Ohio in the fall. Huntington Bank um, in Cleveland, Ohio, Euclid Avenue in Cleveland, Huntington, um, 1899 East 22nd in Cleveland. Um, branches in Ohio already closed this year. Huntington North, the, the branches is already closed this year. Huntington is uh, Alliance, Ohio. Uh, El Liria, Ohio, Kent, Ohio, Columbus, Ohio, Wellsville, Ohio, and Toledo, Ohio. Those banks have already closed. Um, then you have the PNC Bank, you have the Doylestown, um, Beaver Creek, um, Hubbard, Ohio, Mason, Ohio, Cincinnati, both locations in Toledo, Ohio, Youngstown, Ohio, Sandusky, Cleveland, Elyria and Cincinnati, all right. Um, those are PNC banks that are closing in Ohio. Um, this was reclosing this fall. Um, then you have uh, J.P. Morgan Chase in Milford, Ohio. You have Citizens Bank. These are Citizens Bank um, in um, Chagrin Falls, Ohio, Fairview Park, Ohio, Louisville, Ohio, Middleburg Heights, Ohio. Citizens Bank will be closing in the fall. Fifth Third Bank. Hold on. Okay, um, Fifth Third Bank. That's supposed to be closing this fall. If they have already closed, Fifth Third Bank in Ohio, which is um, Zinnia, Ohio. Um, another one. Both locations in Zinnia, Ohio. Main Street, West Main Street, and West Park Square in Zinnia, Ohio. Then you have Sawmill Road in Dubin, Ohio. Um, Columbus, Ohio. E Eakin Road, Monroe Street, Toledo, Ohio. Dixie Highway, Rossford, Ohio, Glenway Avenue, Cincinnati, Ohio, Lebanon Road, Cincinnati, Ohio, um, um, Zinnia, Date, Date, Dayont, Zinnia Road, Beaver Creek, Ohio, and both locations in Milford, Ohio, Roma Drive and Route 28, Ferguson Road, Cincinnati, Ohio. Then you have U.S. Bank in Ohio that's also closing this fall, which is uh, Marbuck Avenue, Cincinnati, Ohio, Brook Park Road in Cleveland, Ohio, um, Mason Montgomery Road in Mason, Ohio, um, Spring Grove Road in Cincinnati, Ohio, um, Six and Sentinel Streets, Cincinnati, Ohio, Cinder Hill Road in Cincinnati, Ohio, Kenwood Road in Cincinnati, Ohio, Williams Street in Cincinnati, Ohio, and Pearl Road in Brunswick, Ohio. These are all the banks that are closing or have already closed in Ohio, which is, um, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, um, twenty-two, twenty-three, that's twenty-five. 6, 7, 7, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, that's 46 banks in Ohio. <clears throat> From what I hear, some of the banks that are operating now, many of the banks, the majority of the banks that are operating now, are operating without a manager. And you have employees, you have certain employees who are acting managers. But um, the banks are, are running without a manager. They've already let the managers go. All right. So just let y'all know the system is collapsing. All right. Get ready. It's no use to pull your money out. It's going to be useless. Because money won't be in existence anymore. All right. Catch you guys later.